Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Beer, Toys and Banter. I'm Nez. And I'm Dunny. And uh, welcome to uh, another show. And we're going to open with some um, some sad news. Um, we, we that's uh, Dunny and myself, um, met earlier in the week, virtually, like this, uh, and made the decision to postpone the Star Wars fan fund day. I think it was an ineb inevitable thing, and you know it's been proved right today uh, with the extension of lockdown. And we didn't want to cancel it fully because we genuinely want to continue to support East Lanks Hospice, um, who more than ever now, because all their fundraising activities um, have been stopped, uh, need all the help they can get. So we took the decision to postpone rather than cancel. Um, Dunny and myself have reached out to all the actors and all the ones that I contacted said uh, they'd be happy to come on the new date, providing the free, of course. All the ones I contacted have said same as well. Yeah, which is great. And uh, to all of those of you that have tickets, they'll still remain valid. And of course, if you can't make the new date, uh, we will refund in full within 24 hours. Uh, we can't get that new date yet, unfortunately, because now that we've gone into the autumn, if the Premiership comes back, and I'm hoping it will by that sort of time, then we need to pick a weekend when Burnley are away so that we can have the, um, the dinner on the Saturday night and the event on the Sunday. So... Uh, that's the news on the Star Wars fan fun day. Dunny, what beer have you got tonight, mate? Right, well, Nez, I've got a, an interesting one again. Uh, I've chose this for the name of the brewery because I've never, I've never, be, never heard of them before, and I thought with a Star Wars name, so it's the Crate Brewery in London, and it's it's just I think it's just called IPA. So it's just a session IPA. Right, never heard of them. No, six percent. So it's quite a. Uh, and they're calling that a session IPA, six percent. Yeah. So again. Ooh, lovely amber. It's color. a lovely colour. Yeah, very amber. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one for a session IPA, that isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't like to have a session on the 6%, so that's for sure. Very interesting smell. It smells, it can smell grapefruit. I'm probably totally wrong, because you know what I'm like. <laughs> oh, it's very nice. You can tell it's 6%. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. So you know uh, my, yeah, it's, you know my thoughts on that. I, I think a good brewer should make a, a strong beer, not taste strong. No, I, yeah, I think you can, yeah, I can tell that's a. It, you can tell it's not a, a weak. You can tell it's not a three point or a four. But it, it's very. Uh, you'd like that, mate. You'd like that. I don't know well, how many well, of them I could drink, but it's 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 a great tasting beer. Really I thought good. you were going to say, I so thought that, you were going to say, I don't know how many of them I can drink, but I'll give it a good go. <laughs> As always. So that's, that's Crate Brewery in London. New one for me. Yeah, new Complex one for me. Complex mold with lots of juicy hops. One, two, sip, sup and savour. Can't say any more than that, can you? Absolutely. So that's what I've got tonight, mate. What have you got? Well, my... Um, beer fridge is running a bit low mate um, I'm waiting for a, for a delivery um, I've ordered some beer online uh, so hopefully by by the next episode I'll have a, quite a selection to choose from uh, but for now I've gone to my beer fridge which is mostly ILI and uh, Brewdog beers so I've chosen a Brewdog beer and what I've done is I've gone for a, a big lad's drink so I've, I'll see your 6% and I'll uh, I'll raise it to nine point two. Ooh. I've chosen uh, Mr. President. It's a double IPA, and um, it's one of 
brew dogs mass produced beers again uh but it's a really really nice double ipa so it's not a session beer it's it's a beer to be savored similar to say um some of these strong belgians or um imperial stouts um and i've ordered a few few stouts because we haven't gone into the stouts yet so i've ordered a no, few there, of them. there were a lot of there are a lot at shop today it's, there seem to be a lot of interesting stouts and we're going to get a couple so as you can see, it's quite a dark colour, Mr. President. Uh, so let's uh, let's have a taste of it. Tell you what, mate, you could tell you're a shareholder in Brewdog. Mate, it's beautiful. It's when you first take a pull on it, it's caramel. It's very caramelly, and then when you swallow it, there's this kind of apricot mango and then an aftertaste of pine it, it's an absolute quality drink but i wouldn't be doing a session on this stuff no 9.2 percent mr president that's my choice quality cheers done it cheers mate right what 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 toy have you got this week Ness? what are you going to well, show us well Always, I don't even know this. Always with my finger on the pulse. Um, today is Gina Carano's birthday. And Gina Carano, for those who don't know, is the beautiful actress who plays um, who plays uh, Cara June in The Mandalorian. So, uh, the toy that I'll be opening is one of the first um three and three quarters vc line uh mandalorian figures cara june now i've already got the six inch cara june and uh this will be a welcome addition to my uh 3.75 collection as are you, you can see are, are, are you opening them i am going to open these uh the very some of the VC ones I haven't opened mostly just because of storage, yeah. but all the Rise of Skywalker ones I've opened. I opened, if you remember way back, all the deleted scene, the sandstorm scene from Return yeah. of the Jedi ones. But there are a few I haven't opened, mostly because I haven't got anywhere to put them, and it's easy to store them by stacking them on top of each other. Uh, but I am going to open this one. Uh, as I said, standard VC card shows the other ones in the wave uh, on the back there. You can see all the others. Um, so let's open her up. So exactly the same uh, as the uh, six-inch six version. Uh, you get her. Um, blaster rifle and a small sidearm blaster really tiny so before that gets lost let's put that in the holster uh, and as it's as it's from the uh vc range uh loads of articulation you know unlike the cheaper figures this figure retails at about 12.99 i think uh but Nice, nicely articulated. So, you know, if you're a diorama uh, collector and you want to put this into some action pose, not a problem at all. Um, really good detailing. She's got her um, rebel uh, drop or shock trooper, what's she, a drop trooper tattoo on her arm there, uh, together with very very tiny you probably can't even see it on the yeah. camera the little uh rebel emblem tattoo that she has uh just underneath her, her eye there um nicely articulated and you know we've talked about six inch figures the last couple of episodes and they're great but my first love is 3.75 and that that's a beautiful 3.75 um the figure 
So there she is, Cora Dune, or Cora Dune, from, uh, from The Mandalorian. So, big box dummy, what have you got for us tonight? Well, carrying on from the, the range I'm not going to get, <laughs> I've got... Ray Speeder. Ray Speeder. Yeah. How much for that, mate? What do you reckon? What's a good price for that? I can't remember what I paid for mine. 35, 40 quid. Yeah. 22 pounds delivered. Wow. Where, where are you getting these bargains? Same place? No, all I'm doing is I'm just putting in Google what I want and coming up. Now, this is a website uh, I've never used before. Uh, Macau, I think they're called. I'll put a link up after. Again, it's it's one of them websites. They've only got a certain couple, uh, you know, a couple of toys. But £22 delivered. Mate, it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, the three and three quarter one. Last week. Yeah. Sorry, go on, mate. The three and three quarter one is that. Yeah, the three and three quarter one isn't far off that. Yeah, you're right. And and you know, as we were saying last week, the um, six inch black series figures just as a figure at twenty quid each. So f that is an amazing bargain for Ray Speeder with Ray. Wow. The delivery I couldn't fault, uh, and the packaging I couldn't fault. So I'll definitely keep an eye on them again so again you've got the legendary plastic bits come in so just be interesting to see how the package going forward Kenu uh no it has brought a bigger point because you know they, they did say they would stop using plastic in the packaging the thing is, some of these, you know, I was going through last night, and there's just there's just so much packaging you're throwing away. And I'm like you, mate. I'm I'm an open, a loose collector because the toys. So, so like you said, you've got you've got the speeder. You've got another stand again, which is amazing. You've got the six inch figure, like you said, six inch figure alone 20 quid. So let's, let's see if I can put this one up together, shall we? Yeah. This is everybody's favorite bit now. Can Dunny put this toy together? If I can do it, it's idiot proof. Well, I think I'll just sit back and join the beer and watch you put that toy together, mate. Have you got another drink ready? So again, that's the figure, beautifully detailed. There's that side panel opens. Again, like a top panel opens, doesn't it? Yeah, top panel opens. What about the net to hold all that? that? Yeah, I've got that. Well, you want me to try and put that on? Oh, absolutely, mate. Uh, well, the see. nations, the nations, the nations on tenter hooks now. Don't let them down. I presume that just clips on there.
which is pretty easy. So yeah, so the next, the next song. That looks great. Again, comes with a backpack. Comes with a six inch, six inch figure. Do, is there, is there um, a kind of helmet and goggles removable? I can't remember. No, there's, no. I think that's uh, like a face mask that comes with it. Right. Yeah, so it comes comes with a, like a small face mask. Comes with a COVID nineteen mask. <laughs> then it comes with obviously a weapon and the backpack. Superb. But again, mate. So, do, am I right in thinking you get that long rifle that fits along the? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, not not the rifle. Sorry. Yeah, it's a it's a stick, whatever it is, isn't it? Yeah. So I think for twenty two quid delivered, that's outstanding, mate. You, you spent. I bet you spent more than that on beer when you went shopping today. Yeah. And I knew we were going at them. I'm just loving them. I mean, I put my. Uh, I did put my Jew back up last night with a sand trooper I got, uh, and I put my speed, you know, me uh, Luke's sand speeder on it, and this will go. On. They're just. Uh, I knew I was going to do it. Once you buy one, you just got to keep buying them, aren't you? Yeah, and you know um, the vehicles. You you think well, you know, they're just so good, and will they carry on doing them with those? Um, with that six inch scale because you remember that the very first one they did with that huge great TIE fighter and uh, you know I'm really really happy I don't know about you that um, for the full no, the full side comes off as well alright I didn't know yeah um, you can open the door or you can pull the side great and it is meant know. to come off I haven't just pulled it off by the way <laughs> Um, yeah, I was, as I was saying, I'm really happy, I don't know about you, about the fact that they're doing this six-inch scale snow speed. Yeah. Well, that's, that's my bargain for this week. And it is. An absolute bargain, mate. So I'll put, I'll put the link to the website on, on underneath underneath the description of this week's post. Yeah, yeah. That will be great. Um, one last thing to uh, to do, and that's to announce the winner of last week's competition. If you remember, we said uh, we've got um, a first order Stormtrooper vintage collection, VC. And we would give that to the person who put the best comment uh, on 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 our YouTube uh, uh, channel uh, regarding last week's episode, uh, and I'm pleased to announce that the winner. And I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Is Miguel Sansons. Miguel Sansons, well done. You've won this. Um, Dunny and I agreed on the on choosing you as the winner because uh, you, you you suggested I should retry Belgian beers. Uh, which, you know, you're quite right, I should, and recommended a couple. And so in a future episode, when I'm able to uh, order some of those online or get out to the shops or whenever, I will definitely try some of those and give you my review of those. So thanks for, for that comment, uh, Miguel. Um, as we said earlier, Donny, uh, it looks like uh, we're going to be here for some time. Uh, lockdown's been extended in the UK for... Uh, three weeks, so we're going to be doing it where I'm here at my home, done is at his home. You know, a big thanks to everybody for putting up with watching us uh, 
in the way that we're doing it. It's not ideal. I'd rather be sat with Dunny enjoying the beers together and all that kind of thing. Um, but it's not to be. So for the foreseeable, this is how it's going to be. We'll carry on trying to order toys online, find some good stuff to talk to you about, uh, beers and all that kind of thing. And uh, thanks again for watching. Um, again, if you've got any comments, if you've tried uh, the beers that we've tried, let us know in the comments what you think of them. If you've got the toys that we've, uh, that we've looked at tonight, again, let us know in the comments. Give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already. Thanks for supporting Beer Toys and Banter, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Thanks, everybody. Cheers, Dunny. Cheers, Nez. Stay safe, everybody.